What's up, guys? We have a video here that actually makes me proud. Kevin Roberts from the Heritage Organization, president of Heritage Organization, telling the World Economic Forum what's coming for them. These people effectively want to enslave you so that they can optimize resources for themselves. The crazy part is they are mask off at this point. I mean, they're basically just telling people that's what we're going to do. We're going to feed you bugs because there's not enough resources to feed you beef. We're going to eat the beef. You can eat the bugs. We're going to just grind a bunch of them up. It's kind of like that movie Snowpiercer. If you haven't seen it, you need to check it out. But there's, you know, two different classes of people. One class gets to eat all the good stuff, all the good vegetables that are, you know, organic, all the sushi, the beef, all that stuff. The second class, which is what the World Economic Forum thinks you should be, gets to eat ground up cockroaches and, um, you know, whatever kind of bug that they can breed quickly and uh, grind up into a slurry and feed it to you. It's laughable that you would or anyone would describe Davos as protecting liberal democracy. It's equally, standing up for it. <clears throat> it's 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 equally laughable to use the word dictatorship at Davos, and and aim that at President Trump. In fact, I think that's absurd. But I'm gonna step aside from that constructive criticism and instead answer your question. Yep. And and I'm gonna be substantive here. President Trump, if he's the next president, for that matter, I think whoever the next conservative president is going to take on the power of the elites, which I mentioned earlier. But there, the, the thing that I want to drive home here, the very reason that I'm here at Davos, is to explain to many people in this room and who are watching, with all due respect, nothing personal, but that you're part of the problem. <laughs> Man, I love this guy. And he's going to proceed to threaten these people, telling them, hey, Trump is coming for your heads. Political elites tell the average people on three or four or five issues that the reality is X, when in fact reality is why. Take immigration. Elites tell us that open borders and even illegal immigration are okay. The average person tells us in the United States that both rob them of the American way of life. They're right. President Trump will take that on on behalf of the average American. Elites also tell us that public safety isn't a problem in big American cities. Just travel to New York or Washington or Dallas, Texas. The average person will tell you that the lack of public safety damages not just the American way of life, but their life. President Trump will take that on. Thirdly, I guess the favorite at the World Economic Forum is climate change. Elites tell us that we, we have this existential crisis with so-called climate change, so much so that climate alarmism is probably the greatest cause for mental health crisis in the world. The solutions the average person know based on climate change are far worse and more harmful and cost more human lives, especially in Europe during the time that you need heating than do the problem and the problems themselves. Fourth, two more here, Robin. Okay. The fourth, China. The number one adversary, not just to the United States, but to free people on planet Earth. Not only do we at, at Davos not say that, we give the Chinese Communist Party a platform. Count on President Trump ending that nonsense. <laughs> and fifth, as we sit here, another supranational organization, the World Health Organization, is discussing foisting gender ideology upon the global south. These are practices that are under review, if not being rejected, by countries in Northern Europe. The new president especially if it's President Trump, will, as you like to say, trust the science. He will understand the basic biological reality of manhood and womanhood. And do you know why? Not because of retribution, not because he's a dictator, but because he has the power of the American people behind him. And it's connected to Senator Portman's excellent point that in addition to needing a vigorous executive, we look forward to having the popular will inform both the House and Senate in 2025 to pass laws on all of those issues and many others. Ultimately, Robin, I think President Trump, if in fact he wins a second term, is going to be inspired by the wise words of Javier Millet, who said that he was in power not to guide sheep, but to awaken lions. That's what the average American and the average free person on planet Earth wants. Guys, this guy basically just dropped a massive bomb took a dump all over the World Economic Forum. But the thing is, he spoke very clearly and concisely. There's no trickery. 
And that's the fact. People don't trust them because they tell us what we see is not happening. They're telling us that the reality that we see happening is not happening and that we should listen to them while the world around us burns down. But that's what they want. You understand these people want to burn down this what they call the old world so they can begin with the new world order. These people at this point are just mask off actually just calling it that they're just calling it the new world order and you can see the other guy's face he's like why did you just say that out loud that was the quiet part you said it out loud we're gonna have to deal with you after this that's the feeling i get when i look at his face take a look at this we are on the way to a new order so we are between orders uh, do you agree with that or are there ways of uh, what are we able to keep on the positive side from the old order to bring into a new he's looking at him like you're you're gone bro world order and how can we avoid that that new world order uh becomes like a jungle growing back and we rather uh, have a order based on international law and the principles that have brought us prosperity and uh, freedom uh for decades we are you know the post cold war era has come to a close we're at the start of something new. We have the capacity to shape what that looks like. And at the heart of it will be many of the core principles and core institutions of the existing order adapted uh, for the challenges that we face today. And that's a, a lot of what I tried to lay out in my remark. These people are literally telling you in your face, that's why these things are public, that get ready because the new world order is coming. Change is coming. You might not like it, but that's what's going to happen. We're going to use all of these institutions. We're going to use all of these different organizations and various governments around the world to change things around and control you and govern you. It's global governance, right? When you stop and think about this, right, you see illegal immigration happening here and you think, why would our president allow that? Why wouldn't they guard our border? It's insane. It doesn't make any sense. Millions and millions of illegal immigrants coming into this country. We don't know who they are, any of that, right? The crimes are increasing. Society just seems like it's falling apart more and more as we just witness it happening around us. So you ask yourself, why is this happening? Why would he allow that? And then you think, well, maybe Biden's just lost his mind. But then you look around, it's happening all around the world. It's happening in every country. Every first world country right now is being invaded by illegal immigrants. What's going on here? There seems to be some kind of a theme. Oh, man, it's like there's some kind of a global power or influence controlling these people. The leadership of these countries seem to all be dancing to the same tune. What's going on here? You understand how they do it? Anytime someone says that we need to do something for your safety, understand what that means. That's code for get ready because we're about to screw you. Because let me tell you something. None of these people give two craps about your safety. They never have. The only people who care about your safety is your immediate family and your friends and other loved ones. That's the only ones. Whenever a bureaucrat or a politician or some random kook in another country goes, We're, we need to control the entire globe in order to protect you because you're too dumb to do it. We're doing this for your own safety every single time. Listen to my words. Every single time that has happened in history, it has been to screw you over. That's plain and simple. Pull up a history book and look back and come back and tell me that that's not true. They espouse it in public. They say this stuff, okay? None of this is a secret. I understand if you wanna believe that this is a conspiracy theory, it sounds crazy. I understand because you probably feel uncomfortable with what is happening. You don't wanna feel like you're not in control of your own life. And so you're going to shove your ostrich head back into the ground and I get it, you're afraid, okay? What you need to do, though, is open your eyes and start fighting back. For those of you who can see the writing on the wall, because these people have already put it on the wall for you to see, like, there's no secrets here. The richest people and organizations and presidents are at this forum discussing how to control you. It's in your face. <laughs> Any kind of denial of this at this point is just absolute 
cognitive dissonance. I'm going to leave you guys with one more thing. This is Vivek. He's a champ. He's basically saying, I'm going to be your hitman. I'm going in there. I'm whacking these people. They're gone. Of course, in nonviolent ways, according to him. They're demanding. You're going to love this, uh, uh, Vivek. They are demanding that we have an international criminal court prosecution of, wait for it, something called ecocide. Ecocide. This is coming out of Davos. Ecocide. Now, mm. I don't know what they think they're talking about. Uh, Mr. Trump or President Trump will never buy into that. What, do you, what does this crowd want? Everything they want. Global warming, John Kerry, uh, it's freezing out in Iowa. Nobody uh, seems to understand that. Big government solutions, big corporate solutions, not yep. small government, small business, entrepreneurial solutions. You know, Vivek, if, if you stay with Trump and you go into his government, I want you to go after Davos. You're going to be the special emissary to go to Davos and, and, and quiet that crowd down. I won't say blow them up because that would be wrong, but quiet them down or give them a facelift or do something we're for heaven's sake. We're not going to quiet them down. We're going to shut them down. That's what we're going to do, Larry. And I think that you ask what's motivating them. Yeah. Here's the answer, Larry. It's just like every three-letter agency here. We should think about ATF, CDC, Department of Education. Education. That's a three letter multilateral institution, WEF. Mm. My answer to all of them with acronyms is shut them down. Mm. Yes. What they want is old world Europe. You ask what they want. It's actually a revival of old world monarchy that was skeptical of self governance. That's what King George believed. That's what the kings of old world Europe believed. And we fought a revolution in 1776 to say that for better or worse, we, the people, the citizens of this nation, engage in self-governance. We're the ones who decide how we fight climate change, whether or how we fight racism or whatever the alleged challenge is. We, the people, make those decisions at the ballot box, not in the mountaintops of Davos. This is that ugly monster of the old world rearing its head again mm. in the avatar of Klaus Schwab and Larry Fink and the others who speak that old world vision. And we should say absolutely no to that vision. We're a self-governing constitutional republic. That's what it means to be an American. And that's what it means to stand for our 1776 ideals in this country. And you have my word, I will stop at nothing. You know, talking about peaceful means, of course, but stop at nothing legally and otherwise to make sure that these people are put back in their place and we have true sovereignty in the United States well, of America. Sir. Yeah, boy. So we really... As the people, people who wish to govern ourselves, we really need to get behind Trump. And it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or a Republican. If you care about your freedoms, if you don't want to be enslaved and don't want to be fed cockroach for breakfast, lunch and dinner, we need to get behind Vivek and Trump. It's for your own sake. These people, like I said, they just speak about this at this point just freely. I mean, you heard the guy referring to it as the new world order. Alex Jones used to be screaming at the top of his lungs about this for decades. People just called him a crazy conspiracy theorist. I thought he was crazy, honestly. I thought he was crazy. What's happening at the World Economic Forum should be keeping you up at night.